persecution of the church like mm -hmm. we've never seen it before. It's an interesting time that we're living in right now regarding persecution. And what I'm seeing in my spirit is I looked at the book of Acts and I noticed when there was intense persecution on the church is when they were speaking boldly or when there was an increase of the Holy Spirit's agenda. And you can look at Acts 17, for example, when the church was beginning to grow and expand into different regions the enemy attacked what was called the house of Jason because there was something that was beginning to be formed in the church is what's happening right now. And Jason, literally what it means is in the Hebrew and the Greek is salvation and healing and signs and wonders. And I believe that this is what God is bringing right now in a great awakening upon the nation and is why uh, hell is reacting because the enemy fears what is in process by way of God's awakening Revival, Reformation. Now, California, it's very interesting, Pastor Jim, even with the fires and things that are happening. You know, when, when, when the righteous rule, according to the uh, book of Proverbs, chapter 29, the people rejoice or there's a blessing. But the problem is they've got wicked people that are making very bad decisions that's causing the people to mourn, as the book of Proverbs says, and there are certain uh, actions that they're allowing. It's like they're opening up a door, and the people are the ones that are being, obviously, having to suffer with the bad decisions and wicked decisions that's happening in California. But here's something I want people in California to know. Uh, many years ago, the Lord began to prophesy about California, and He talked specifically about fault lines. You know, we all look for earthquakes, and Jesus said that. He said, in the last days, there would be earthquakes in various places, and people prophesy, you know, the California earthquakes. But I listened very carefully to the word of the Lord when it came through my lips, and he said, I'm not just speaking of the natural fault lines that I'm going to shake, but I'm speaking of spiritual and political fault lines in California that I'm going to shake because of the injustice and because of the corruption that has been even in high places in the land that have even had California, those in California have been a part of, and God was going to shake it up. But then he said this, and this is very interesting. He said, California, you are starting to look a lot more red. And he was speaking about how California would begin to shift even over into a conservative uh, way and a conservative mindset that would be very shocking to not only California, but to the nation. And, and so in the meantime, what we're seeing is hell's responding and God is coming to expose and remove to shift California into the right alignment for what he has. Praise what God. What has God showed you about the rest of America? in these days? I had given a prophecy, actually, uh, I have it here. This was from September 5th of 2019. And, uh, you know, nobody was talking about plagues back in, in a year ago, but God began to prophesy that as we would enter into 2020, that we would enter into what would be known as a decade of difference. And um, in fact, I had met with uh, Brother Kenneth Copeland for two days privately for prayer. And he said to me, he said, Hank, what are you sensing? And I said, Brother Copeland, God is saying that it's going to be the decade of difference, that it's going to start off harsh, but it's going to wind up being different if the Lord should choose to tarry. But the prophecy begins from September 5th of 2019 to talk about how God would put a difference uh, between his people and those in Egypt and that there would be pestilence and there would be plagues. And then it goes on and says, I speak to you, those who've fallen into a place of despair, what you shall enter into in this new decade, it will start off harsh but it shall come to a place known as rest, and it will be different. And I think that's what I want everyone to understand. These are perilous times. That's what the Scripture talks about. These are birth pains. We are seeing amazing biblical prophetic uh, events unfolding on a daily basis. But there's something that often we forget, and it's in Matthew 24 that, that Jesus said. He said, this gospel, that's the good news, of the kingdom shall be preached or promoted, and then the end shall come. So part of another sign that God wants to manifest in the earth, and I believe on this nation right now, is to promote the fact that God is good, promote the fact that God is a redemptive God. 
Yes, there are judgments in the earth. We need those judgments because the book of Isaiah says as long as God's judgments are in the earth, people will learn righteousness. And so there's a certain element where God is having to deal with certain actions and things that people have sown that we're reaping. And, but what I'm seeing is something very powerful. The Lord spoke to me. Uh, other prophets were speaking about resilience and so, uh, just a couple weeks ago, the Spirit of God said to me, said, Hank, I'm looking at something in this decade that is very, very important to me. And I said, what is it, Lord? And he reminded me of the scripture that says that the husbandman waits patiently for the precious fruit of the earth. And uh, the precious fruit of the earth is souls. And God said to me, he said, Hank, I'm releasing something over this nation that it's the reason why they tried to take out the president on many attempts and it hasn't worked. Okay, I mean, how many more things do they need to come up with, the, 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 the house of the left? Uh, and, and so he reminded me that they tried to take out Jesus in Luke chapter 4. They tried to throw him off a cliff and he passed through them. But there was an announcement that Jesus made just before that. He said, look at me. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, for He has anointed me. In other words, there was an anointing that preserved Jesus. And there was an anointing that caused whatever the enemy was trying to bring, even prematurely, it could not touch him because of preservation. And so God said to me, Hank, even in the midst of evil, I command that my people pray, that they will cry out to me to release an anointing, to bring a spirit of preservation that God because he's a covenant keeping God and there's been covenants made from our forefathers and others who said God will you bless this land you see God dedicated himself to Israel but this land United States dedicated themselves to God and God heard that and he's remembering it and he wants to release the spirit of preservation and he wants to show his goodness in the midst of crazy stuff that are happening right now among, among the nation and the nations.